So now the next thing I want to do. What I want to try and do is animate an explosion. An old school explosion. That's just cool to look at. <laughs> I'm just I'm just kinda standing there like that's so cool. I did I took the water back in the fridge, damn I need water. Oh well, I'll be alright. Thank you, sir, thank you. All handcrafted. And of course, if I want to get fancy. I can go in there and actually recolor the sprites and make them color. But I don't want them to be colored. I want to be actually like grayscale. I see some non-symmetry on the main ship, but I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna stress myself over that. Right here on the cannon, there's a pixel off. But I'll. I'll let that live. I can easily go back and fix that if I really, 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 really worry about it. But the ship will be moving, so I'm thinking it won't be that huge of a deal. Actually, maybe it's not. No, my eyes are deceiving me. Actually, it is symmetrical. My eyes are just deceiving me for some reason. Now I'm looking at it again. It's symmetrical. It's probably, the blur is probably kind of messing with my eyes. That's why. It's making me think it's not symmetrical and stuff. Okay, so now the next thing. Let me save this real quick. Ship's animated. So now what I've done is i made a, pretty much a place I can just go back to. And once I make a new animation or a new stage, no matter what that stage is, I can just go and grab the ship. I can just go and grab it, say copy. Once I unlock the layer, I can go and say copy. Oh, there's still a group. Um, you guys can separate now. Just want you to know that. Let's save that. I can go ahead and grab one, copy it, and I can paste it. And I got it over here, and it goes right to the library with all the stuff intact into a new file. So that's work. That works. Uh, I'm not going to use that though. I'm going to do what I'm going to do now. I'm actually going to make. I like making my different animation pieces in different files. This is just cleaner that way. Um, as I used to do back in the day, old school style. I used to do all my animation pieces in different files because you had to. Every time I made a sprite, you made a sprite file, and that sprite file had all of the different frames of animation. So I'm doing it here. That's that's not changed over the years. Um, so now what I want to do is figure out how I want to do this explosion. That's going to be really interesting. But I'm going to do it. Uh, let's do this. Okay. For the explosion, this is where I would like to have particle effects, but that's not going to happen. <laughs> so I'm do homemade particle effects. Let's call this a particle. Call this particle bomb. I'm not going to make anything special for the bullets though because bullets, actually I can go ahead and do this now before I forget. I can make the bullets real quick. Bullet is just like that. Um, we can recolor it to be white. We can recolor the edge. Well, let me see if it's got an edge. It does. We can recolor that edge to have no edge. Take that. Go here. Convert the symbol. Work. We'll do that. We could put a blur on this or a glow on this. Probably make the glow on this a little bit more intense since it's or not blur. Glow. I did too. No. Glow. There we go. And I could also change the color of that glow too, so it wouldn't have to be that color per se, but And boom, there we go. Bullet. Bullet is done. We can copy that same bullet over and again. We can use it. If we were to go command enter, you see bullets there. It's not moving, obviously. We haven't made it move, but there we go. It does look, it's weird. It looks uneven here, but I don't know if that's the blur or what, because when I look at the actual sprite, it's fine. It must be some the way that's rendering that, uh, that Swift file. That must be it. So let me go ahead and wait. Let me say it shifts animated one more time. Save it. All right, good. There's the logos. I can go ahead and close. I can actually close this. I don't need that anymore. Um, this, I can go ahead and make the background. Uh-oh. Let me do that. I can get rid of the temporary background I did because I wasn't sure what I was going to do. So I can get rid of that now, and that's fine. Alright, so now, particle bomb. This is going to be really interesting because I make an explosion. This shouldn't be too bad if I know how I want to do this, which is kind of the problem. Okay. 
But I got an idea. I'm gonna make this convert to symbol. Quarter. Uh, I'm thinking right now how I want to do that. I, started, I just thought of something actually that might work. Let's do one, two. Well, no, 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 no. Don't do that yet. Let's do a. Can I duplicate? Can I duplicate layers? You can't. That's weird. But what I can do, it doesn't matter because what I can do is I can just make the animation I want to make and I can just duplicate it a bunch of times. And then on each one, I can go back and change the space of it. I got it. Okay, I got an idea. I, I see I'm going to do it. Okay, we delete this now. Um, Rectangle. Doesn't have an edge, right? Okay, cool. We want to make this. I'm going to make this light gray instead of... Well, actually, I'm going to make it white. That's fine. So I'm going to make it fade, too. So I'm, actually, it's probably good I made it white. That's a good thing. Am I on a... Oh, it's scooted over for some reason. I'm like, why am I not seeing a... Put about 45 frames out. Copy. Oh wait, no, 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 no. Keyframe, 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 keyframe. Insert keyframe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is actually gonna be easier than I thought. So all I'm gonna do is do this. I'm gonna say create motion tween. I'm gonna go down here. I think if I want to do this, I want to ease it out. Let's do this. Test it out. Yeah. All right. So I go here. And I take this and I darken it. It should change colors automatically. Nope. I got a remote between it. <laughs> it was like, "What do you want to do?" Oh, you're funny. He's a funny guy. Oh, I can just do this. What am I doing? I can just go here and go color and go brightness. Duh. There we go. Okay, now if I do it, it should work. It should get darker. Yeah. Alright, now that's too slow, so let's move this down some. And then we'll get rid of these frames. Uh, remove frames. Let's see if I click that, will it open up? Okay, cool. Was that bitmap property? Oh, okay. Okay. Let me take a look at that setting in a second here. Oh. Let me see if I can. Well, no, I gotta go to the library, right? And then go here. Uh, properties. Oh, it's unchecked now. Increase quality. Okay. Total properties. Lost this PNG GIF. Um, properties. Allow smoothing. Oh, with every frame? Ugh. Actually, that looks good. That is a definite improvement already. <laughs> oh, the switch still open, isn't it? Yeah, it is. That is a definite improvement already. It looks weird on this screen, which is... I don't know why it looks funky there. Maybe it's... You know, it might be just the level of zoom, man. That's weird. And actually, man, it looked fine. Oh, your friend is like, okay, in the library. Gotcha. Yeah, it, it looks good. I don't know why the ship looks weird now. That ship must not be even. I think that's the problem. Because the, the enemy's price actually look fine. The ship looks funky. So I'm, I'm going to fix that ship in a minute. I'm going to go back to that in a minute. 
Because the ship, something's wrong with the ship. I think it might be uneven. But it does look better though already. So thank you for that. Let's make this a little faster. Will that do it? Wait, what frame? I didn't even check my frames for a second. This is probably way too fast now. 24. Because I didn't even check that. It's probably going to be super fast now. Oh, but it's... Okay, that's actually good. That's really smooth. I just need to come out a little bit more. So 30 frames. Try that. Okay, that's perfect. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and I can, I'm going to copy this, I'm going to delete this from this layer. And now that I have that object, I'm going to make another one of these. I'm going to convert this to a symbol. I'm going to say, bombed, just because I want to call it that. I don't know why. Delete that. And now I'm going to paste this here. Lock that one. I'm not going to name these, they are going to be just like layers of like dots. Starting at certain points. Yes, it is going to have 8 bit sound. Absolutely. I actually have a library of sounds that I made from a. Uh, It's an online sound generator. It's kind of cool, actually. Okay, now they're facing the same direction. I don't want that. So you can kind of see where I'm going with this. I'm going to go ahead. And I can actually just take the same frame, copy this, make a new one. Put a keyframe over here somewhere. Let's say like four frames in. That's how I, oh yeah, insert key frame. I do need to do that because I'm gonna paste it here. The thing that sucks is I can't really tell which way this is going. It does like the flying through space thing, doesn't it? So, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to unlock all of this because I want all of these. Make another layer. I'm going to call it five. It's going to be called five. I'm going to lock everything except for five. And right here, I'm going to shift command paste. And I'm just going to rotate this. Now I should have double that, right? Alright, cool. Unlock all of that. Take all of these. Copy them. I'm going to now lock them. Make another layer. It's going to be six. It's going to go on top of those. I'm actually going to put this behind these. I'm going to shift command paste that. Then I'm going to rotate that. Then I'm going to go ahead, unlock all of this, select them all, copy them, lock them, make another layer, put it on top, that's unlocked, I'm going to move it over like a frame, so I'm going to put it right here, shift command paste, I'm going to rotate that slightly, actually I'm going to rotate that pretty far, right there. Okay, so now that's too close, I don't like how close it is, so I can actually move this out. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually go back into the library, go into the, what is it, go into, oh is that actually a tween now? Oh I can go find one. Lock all of these, go back down to the very original one I made, which is down here somewhere. 
I can even hide all of these if I wanted to. Go here, select this one, go into it. It is main, okay. So now I can go back out, uh, wrong thing. Stretch out to 35. Gonna move this out a little bit more. And now I'm gonna make the brightness minus 100. And then I'm gonna make another layer. I'm gonna lock this. I'm gonna go here. I'm gonna make a insert keyframe. And on that keyframe, I'm gonna go ahead and go to actions. I'm gonna go ahead when it opens up. Eventually, someday, I'm going to say stop. Bam. Check. No errors. Good. Go back out to bombed. Zoom out. Command enter. So only do it once now. There it is. There's our explosion. It's going to loop because the animation loops, but then once it gets to the end, it just all the other pieces stop because we made that one that we made originally and duplicated. We made it stop. And if we go back out to scene one, since I made this one object, I can go movie clip and I can go, I mean, I can go to filters and now I can make it like insane. I can go glow. I can go put this glow up to like something ridiculous. I can make this glow white. I can make this glow like super strong. And then bam. Only problem is when I make the glow, <laughs> the glow won't animate with it, so that's probably not the best idea. Hmm. Inner glow? Hmm. Let's try that. I can fix that though, actually. I can fix that. Knockout. Let's not do knockout. I can fix that very easily, actually. Not sure why I even fretted that. Because I can just go in here. I can move this back one frame. And on this frame right here, I can keyframe it. And I can delete it. Oh, wait. I can't do it while it's locked. There we go. Lock it. Go back out here. Bombed. And go back out to scene one. Pull this back down. Why that went away? There it goes. Look a lot bigger. Yep, exactly. Now can and that's exactly what I was thinking. I can take that exact same particle explosion, make it quite a few times, make some different size ones, and make fireworks. <laughs> now I do think this is moving a little bit slow. So what I'm going to do is go back into here. I'm going to move these all down a slight bit, and then get rid of these frames. Move frames. That should be really good. That should do it. That should be good. I think we're solid. So there we go. Now we got our particle explosion. Let me save this real quick because I haven't saved it yet. <laughs> 